Good morning. This is Megan Herbst with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report for Saturday, April 20th. Earth Day is this Monday, April 22nd, and today I'll be talking about several events that coincide with Earth Day. This year marks the 54th annual celebration of Earth Day, and since 1970, it has been celebrated widely for supporting protection of the environment. On the first Earth Day, the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District had already been putting conservation on the ground for 21 years and has continued to do so every day since. Across Stearns County, farmers and agricultural landowners are adopting conservation practices that have improved the quality of our soil and water. Landowners in Stearns County continue to be leaders in protecting and enhancing nature, protecting our water resources, and improving their soil health. Thank you farmers for all that you do to conserve our natural resources, not just on Earth Day, but every day. Next, I'd like to highlight a wonderful learning competition that took place on Wednesday, April 17th at the Prairie Woods Environmental Learning Center in Spicer, known as the Envirothon. The Envirothon is an annual competition for students in grades 6 through 12 to challenge their environmental knowledge and skills on several different topics surrounding environmental issues, including aquatics, wildlife, soils, forestry, and oral presentation. The stations are presented by natural resource professionals, and at each of the stations, teams complete a 25-question exam. And this year, I had the pleasure of running the soil station with my coworker, Kelly Molitor, and I was very impressed with the students' knowledge and just general interest in environmental science. These are some very bright students, um, and they just love learning about the environment. So the Senior Envirothon uh, this year includes students in grades 9 through 12, and then the Junior Envirothon includes students from grades 6 through 8. And there are eight competitions held throughout the state of Minnesota, and then the top three teams from each of the Senior Envirothons will go on to compete at the State Envirothon, which is going to be held in Finland, Minnesota, on May 20th. And then the top team from the Minnesota State Envirothon will go on to compete at the National Envirothon. So it can be quite a big deal for these students. The top three teams this year from areas, Area 2 Envirothon were St. John's Prep team number two taking third place and Sartell team number seven with second place and St. John's Prep number one placing first. So all three of these teams will go on to compete at the State Envirothon in May and good luck to all of the teams competing. Finally, if there are any schools that are interested in having their students compete at future Envirothons, please contact us, the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District at 320-251-7800 for more information. We're always looking to add more schools to this exceptionally run event, and it does seem that schools and general number of teams has been down since COVID, so we would really like to get back up to those pre-pandemic levels. Another event that I would like to discuss today is the We Are Water Minnesota exhibit that is opening at the Art in Motion on Lake Wobegon Trail in Holding Ford on April 25th. We Are Water is a project of the Humanity Center that engages Minnesotans with our state's most important natural resource through personal stories, historical content, and scientific information. We Are Water Minnesota will be on display at Art in Motion on the Lake Wobegon Trail from April 25th through June 16th. Visitors to this exhibit will learn about water issues statewide and within their community. They also reflect on local stories and the meaning and experiences of water in Minnesota with space to add their own stories. Combining learning and sharing in this way strengthens Minnesotans' relationships with water and increases participation in water stewardship activities. Please be sure to check out this exhibit soon. And finally, the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District's tree program is well underway and tree pickup will be taking place at Rockville County Park on Friday, April 26th from 7.30 a.m. through 6 p.m. This will be the only day that available for tree pickup. Tree order postcards informing customers of pickup should have arrived earlier this week. Please contact us if you have not received your postcard. There is still time to order trees. The final day to purchase trees will be Wednesday, April 24th for the spring delivery. Please check out the Stearns County SWCD's website to find availability of certain species. That's about it for me and thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend and celebrate Earth Day. This has been Megan Herbst with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report.